Hi, I'm Danielle from Four Patriots. I have with me today Ryan. Now, Ryan and his colleagues helped engineer our Patriot power generator. So I've brought him here today to help us answer our most common question, which is, what can the Patriot power generator power? Well, the answer is pretty much anything. If you can plug it into your wall, you can plug it into the generator. For the most part, every, it's going to run everything. Now, there are a few exceptions, Danielle. You, sometimes we have an old air conditioner, like from 1975 or something like that. Those are going to be, the motor's worn out. They have a very, very high surge capacity. Surge is what they call them. So the generator's not going to run that because that original electricity is going to peak very high. So other than that, the generator's going to run pretty much anything. How can I figure out if I have an appliance at home if the power generator is likely to work for it? Well, there's a couple ways. So the first way and the best way is to look at the specifications. Every appliance or device is going to have a, a label with, and that'll tell you how many volts, how many amps it's going to be drawing. It, may, it might even tell you watts. So anything under about 13 and a half amps, the generator is going to run with no problem. And, so, and if your label is in watts, then anything under 1500 watts, and you're going to be running just fine. Great. Could I run multiple things at the same time? Let's say I had a power strip and I wanted to plug a few things in. Sure, absolutely. Yeah, a lot of people get confused. There's only two plugs on the generator, but that doesn't mean you can only power two things. You just have to stay under 1500 watts. So you can plug a power strip in, you can run 10 things, you can run two things. The only thing you don't want to do is just go over 1500 watts. There is a screen that tells you exactly how much you're using. Very good. Yeah, so we plug the power strip in, we flip the switch right above the plug, the inverter switch we call it. There's a green light, that means we're good. Make sure you also turn your power strip on as well. Now we're, we're ready to go. What, uh, what do you got to run? Well, the power has just gone out. So the first thing I need is light. That you do, yeah, and it's a good it's a good idea always, especially if there's a big storm or a, you know a big storm coming to have your generator in a spot that's easily accessible. The last thing you want to be doing is looking in the pitch black dark, going through your garage trying to find your generator on the back shelf. So, you know, be prepared, think ahead, pull your generator out, and then you won't have such a hard time. But yeah, to plug the light in, that's it. That's great. There we go. Hmm. Let's say I'm cold. Could I put in? My space heater? Well, absolutely, yeah. And this is a cool space heater right here. It's, it's just a little guy. It's not, gonna, it's not gonna totally drain your generator very fast. Let's look and see how many watts we're using on this. And I see here that this is a 250 watt heater. So, perfect. Let's go ahead and plug that into the power strip. And that's it. It's running, can you hear that? It's really quiet, but it is running. You can feel the heat right here. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I've got light, I've got heat. Hmm, oh, I need to call a girlfriend because the power's out and she could be worried. Yes. But my phone is dead. Can I charge my phone too? Oh, absolutely, yeah. So you just need to flip a switch right here next to your USB plugs. That means they're on. Let's see this and I'll plug that in for you. Now there is one amp for the two top USBs. The bottom ones do two amps, so if you have tablets, things like that. You'll want to plug those into the bottom ones. They'll charge a lot faster there. Either way, you can plug your phone into any one. It doesn't matter. We'll go ahead and plug it into the one amp. And we're charging. Fabulous. Well, okay, so I'm warm. I can see I'm calling a girlfriend, but what if I emergently need to blow dry my hair? Sure, it happens. It's going to happen. So in that case, we need to be aware of exactly what we're using. When we have this hair dryer here, these take a lot of power. They're generating a lot of heat. You need that to, buy, to blow dry all that hair. So we're probably not gonna be able to run anything else while we're using this. We do have the 1500 watts to worry about. So in this case, we'll turn the heater off. We'll turn the light off. The light, actually, we could probably use. We just can't go over 1500 watts. Okay. You gotta have light when you dry your hair. I might need that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so I'm gonna use the power strip again. We just plug it in here and that's it. That's great. Yep. So just, just, just be aware. Just don't, you know, we want to make sure we don't go over 1500 watts. If you start adding a bunch of things up, it's, it's easy to do and you can go over it. So pay attention to what you're using. Pay attention to the screen. Make sure you stay under that magic number of 1500 watts.
Okay, so we've had some fun here talking about hair dryers and being warm and being able to see. Let's take a minute and talk about some more serious things that we might need to plug into our Patriot Power Generator. Sure, let's do it. So we've put away our heater and our light, and now we're down to some more serious equipment. A lot of people have a CPAP machine that they use at nighttime and want to know, will the Patriot Power Generator power their CPAP machine? Well, it absolutely will. That's one of the um, big things we thought about when we were designing the generator is to run sensitive devices like a CPAP. We have here a travel CPAP. This is a little bit smaller than maybe some of yours at home. Um, they use a little bit less electricity, so this is something good to think about. If you are in an emergency, you'll get a few days, no problem, off of one charge with this CPAP. So. Can I see if it works? Please do. All right. That's it. We're in business. These are a big deal when you need them. You, you can't not use a CPAP when you need it. It's dangerous. It's, it's dangerous to your health and you know people have even have died from, from that. So. Well, speaking of very important things, what about an oxygen generator? Absolutely. You bet this will run an oxygen generator. No problem. It would run both of these at the same time. Let's go ahead and plug it in, show them. Let's do it. Plug it in. I'll go ahead and flip it on. Oh. You can see yeah, that's running working. just fine. These do kind of get a little bit loud, a little bit loud, so I'm gonna turn it off, but it does run the oxygen machine, no problem. It would run this for, you know, right now you're looking at, you know, hours is what you're looking at on one full charge with the generator. But in times of crisis, we're gonna need more than that. Yeah. So what, what we do, we recommend that you plug your solar panels in while you use it. If I'm using 300 watts on the oxygen machine, if I'm using, you know, and I have 300 watt solar panels plugged in, that's about even. So, you know, that you can run for an extended period of time. You'll get days and days on the generator instead of hours. So, so if I needed a machine like this to live, I might really want to go ahead and invest in those three solar panels so I can keep it, everything charged and be able to use my machine? Well, absolutely, because it's crucial to keep your, your generator charged when you have an oxygen machine. That is, it's foolish to have your life be at that big, of, you know, to be at risk like that when you've got these generators, the generator and the solar panels so readily available. Now, I obviously don't need an oxygen machine, but I do have a big refrigerator at home. Uh, will the Patriot Power Generator run a full-size refrigerator? Yeah, it'll run refrigerators, washers, dryers. It'll even run your furnace, no problem. Now, when any time you have one of those device, one of those appliances, and you want to know if it'll run it, you can just find the specifications. There's a label usually on the back of your dryer, your washer, on your refrigerator. You open the door, and it'll be somewhere along the side. So you find that and just see how many amps it's gonna take. If it's amps we're talking about, the generator will run anything under 13.5 amps. Or if it's in wattage, anything under 1500 watts. They're about the same thing when you do the math. That's really impressive. So, so heaters, uh, fridges, like what's the most, the most impressive thing you can think of that you can run on a Patriot power generator? Well, I, I've just, I never can, it never ceases to amaze me. I've got this little teeny unit right here. It's light, it's portable. I can take it anywhere with me. I set that on my washer, do a whole load. I can actually do three loads on one full charge. I've done it. And then I move it to my dryer. I can dry my clothes and then right to my furnace and run and run my furnace while I do that. And that to me, it just, it's astounding that I, that you can do that with this, with this generator, it's, it's, this, this thing is truly amazing. Is there anything else that I'm not thinking of that I could run on a Patriot power generator that might be really useful in an emergency? Well, there's, there's different types of cooking appliances that you could use. I have an induction hot plate. The induction hot plate is a very efficient way to cook food. You use, it's just like a stove. I can, you know, fry eggs, boil water, um, you know, cook all of the food storage products that we have. It's very easy to do that. Those induction hot plates are the most efficient way to, to cook. Well, that's definitely why I've made food storage part of my daily life. Um, so I noticed there was a couple of extra plugs here on the front. I know what to do with the USB plug. That was used for my phone. And the outlets I'm really good with because we have those all over my house. Yeah. But there was another plug up there. What do I do with that? Sure, and this one looks a little bit strange. It's the Anderson Power Pole plug that's right here. And what that is for is it's, it's, it can do lots of different things. You know, you can run 12 volt coffee makers, maybe even heavy duty lights. But what it's really designed for is to power and charge ham radios. 
some ham radios draw so much power that charging them through a cigarette lighter can be problematic because they just take that much amperage. So we've got an, uh, an industrial and it's a more robust 12 volt connector right there. And that's how you charge your ham radios. That keeps you in communication no matter where you are, no matter what's going on. You can always have those ham radios charged. You can always be aware of what's going on and be in communication with your family, your friends, or your community. Well, I am really amazed at what the Patriot Power Generator can do. And I know that the folks at home will be too, and that they're going to be really happy that they have one of these in their house. It can feel so much more secure in times of small emergencies or even big emergencies. Sure. Ryan, thank you so much for coming in My today. My pleasure. Thank you. For more information, visit PatriotPowerGenerator.com.